Opposing counsel and ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I am here to tell you the story of Riley Costello. Have you ever gone to Tim Hortons expecting to get a cream filled donut and you bite into it with so much anticipation just to find it was filled with jelly and you immediately spit it out? We are here to tell you the story of Riley Costello who walked into what she believed was her apartment that evening only to find that it was the wrong one. Imagine having a job that you have been dedicated to for years and it all goes away in an instant because of one mistake. No second chances, no redos. Today we are going to tell you the story of Riley Costello. Riley Costello is a 28-year-old loyal police officer to the Holly Hills Police Department who came home after her 12-hour shift on the night of August 27, 2020 to rest from the stress of her job and additionally she was burdened by the concern over her mom who was not doing well in the nursing home. Riley entered her apartment and then she saw a shadowy figure head towards her. Riley immediately pulled out her weapon in fear and asked the figure to stop. Yet the figure continued to run towards her, so Riley fired her gun in self-defense as she has been trained to do. Today, Riley is being charged with second degree murder. Second degree murder in the state of Michigan can be described as an unplanned or non-premeditated intentional killing or death caused by a reckless disregard for human life. Today you will hear from two witnesses, Charlie Dobbins, who is one of Riley's friends, who was there with her right before the incident, and who was also on the scene when she got the call, and the defendant, Riley Costello, who will go into how she was feeling during the time with her mom in the nursing home, and the 12-hour shifts that she was working. Riley does not have to testify today, but who wants to share with the court what happened on that evening. She will share with you how, out of great fear for her life, Riley acted in self-defense. It is not our job to prove that she acted in self-defense, rather it is the prosecution to prove that she did not. However, we know after you hear the testimony and see the evidence, you will conclude that Riley Costello is not guilty. Thank you.